Hello crafty friends, welcome to this coffee themed video or tea themed, depending on what your choice of beverage is. So a couple of weeks ago I was rummaging through my dice stash and I brought together all my beverage themed dies and posted a photo in my Facebook group asking what kind of beverage themed dies everyone had and would it be useful if I did a video on how to use them because I love these kind of dies but I don't use them nearly enough in my card making. There was quite a positive response to my question and so here I am making this video. So I'm going to start with this die. I believe this one is from Rose's Studio. Not sure if it's still available but I'm sure there are plenty like it on the market and I'm just going to cut lots of these in white. So I've got six coffee cups cut out and I'm thinking of having five white ones on the front of my card cascading down. I'm wondering about putting a panel on first. I think I'll do that. I think it needs a little bit something. So I've got this stitched rectangle smooth white cardstock panel and I shall use a teeny tiny bit of glue to reduce the risk of bobbling to add it to the front of my card. I think all the rectangle dies on the market are made for US size cards, not UK size cards. So they never quite fit right because this is a five by seven card blank and this is the largest rectangle die. But I think that looks all right. Now I'm gonna add my coffee. My takeaway cup, doesn't have to be coffee, it could be anything. And I'm gonna have it coming off the top of the panel and off the top of the card. I do think having things going over the edge and being cut off makes things look a bit more cohesive. I've chosen to do these cascading coffee cups in white because I want them to be the background really, the foundation part, to give a bit of texture and interest. That one's a little bit mucky so I'm going to swap it out. Just snip off the overhang. I think that makes a nice foundation. So I want to create a colourful takeaway cup to go on top of my white takeaway cups. And there's four elements to this die really. There's a lid, there's the body, there's a sleeve, and there's a heart. So I'm thinking three colours. I could make the lid and the sleeve the same colour, the coffee or takeaway cup itself one colour, and then the heart another colour. So I'm going to pick three, I think, brights to make it really pop. So I'm going to use Picked Raspberry for a nice bright pink. I was asked the other day, well, it'll be a couple of weeks ago now by the time this video goes up, how often I re-ink my Distress Oxides. And the answer is about once every six years, because these three, I think these are some of my originals, and I bought these about six years ago when I think they first came out and I've never re-inked them. But they are starting to get a bit dry. So it just so happens two days ago, I think, I ordered some re-inkers. So the answer to the question, how often do you re-ink your Distress Oxides is once every six years. Interestingly, I've had my Catherine Pooler inks since Christmas, maybe, so five months, and I've already had to order re-inkers. So on the uh, cost per year front, I think Distress Oxides win hands down. Right, I'm going to cut a coffee cup out of each of these colours. 
Okay, so I'm thinking blue cup, yellow lid, yellow sleeve, pink heart. What I have to do with these is cut them out, but fortunately there are embossed lines to follow, which makes it really easy. To get these stuck together, just put a bit of glue on my mat, spread it out, put that in, lift it up and pop it on and knock it together with my tweezers. To secure the heart, I've got a bit of regular sticky tape. I'm going to pop that behind the aperture there, sticky side up. I might add a tiny little bit of glue just for extra security. And now I can pop that in. And that's recessed slightly because of the lifted up sleeve. I think my colourful cup needs to go up on a bit of foam tape for a bit of dimension and I'm going to pop it about there so down the middle of this cascade of cups. For my sentiment I'm going to die cut the word cheers out of black cardstock but before I do I'm going to cover it in clear packing tape to make it glossy. I'm going to dip this in PVA glue and add it to my card around the top of the coffee takeaway mug thing and curve it so it follows the curve of the cup. And to add a little something, a little bit of shimmer and shine. I'm going to cover my pink heart in White Blizzard Nouveau Drops, which will dry clear, so you'll still see that pink, but it's got teeny tiny bits of iridescent glitter in it. You could add a glitter brush pen to do this if you wanted, rather than a drops. Right, there we go, a beverage themed card. You could use this as a thank you card, I think, because I don't know about the rest of the world, but in the UK, cheers can mean thank you. When someone does something nice for you, you go cheers. So it could be a thank you card, and you could put a gift card inside for your recipient's favourite cafe or coffee shop. Right, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and it's given you an idea of something you can do with the beverage themed dyes in your stash. If you've got any cards you've made with similar dyes, then do come along to my Facebook group and share some photos because we'd all love to see them. Right, thanks for joining me. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.